The battering of storms Dudley, Eunice and Franklin have caused damage to churches across the UK. Some churches have been affected more than others. Churches in Brighton and Somerset have been badly affected. The spear of St. Thomas's Church in Wales in Somerset came crashing down to the ground after it was brought down by the heavy winds. The spear was constructed in 1857 and people caught the moment when it wobbled and then toppled from the church. As reported by Premier, thankfully no one was hurt by the incident. Fire crews were also called to reports of loose lead at risk of falling from St. Michael's and All Angels Church in Police Road, Brighton. The 162-year-old church had six foot pieces of loose lead which fire services tried to reach but were unable to use their aerial ladder platforms all three storms over the past week left almost one and a half million homes without power this has raised concerns for residents along river savan with fears heavy rainfall could cause the banks to burst the environmental agency says there is no guarantee the temporary barriers along the river savan will hold so in this case residents in the risk areas have been asked to turn power supplies thank you mr off. speaker this is day six for thousands of households across east sussex who have no power and no water as we become more and more reliant on electricity we must become more resilient can i ask the prime minister to ensure that the utility companies work together that water companies have to have generators in place so that the water doesn't fail when the power does and that local resilience forums are fit for purpose and communicate with their local community we need more help on this prime minister please help us prime minister uh, i thank him very much for uh, what he said about people in east sussex and i just want to say i, I know how uh, uh, how tough it is for people who've been uh, short of power for for days on end and uh, it is no consolation to them for me to say that 97% of uh, who lost power have now been reconnected, but we're working as fast as we can with local authorities, uh, with the electricity companies to make sure that they get their power back, but also ensuring uh, that we build in more resilience for the future. Jamie Stone. Mr Speaker, let's be quite clear about this. Is it not an absolute disgrace that a Privy Councillor, an advisor to the Queen and a former First Minister of Scotland sees fit to broadcast his half-baked world views week after week on Russian television. Mr Speaker, that was a, a brilliant, powerful question with which I think the whole House uh, assented. Would it not have been more powerful if it had come from the leader of the Scottish National Party?